morning everybody let me get uh just here situated a little bit and uh starting the day uh we looked at es um overnight inventory was completely short of the settle of yesterday's range okay so there's a settle price here this little o on es and everything just sold under okay overnight now the opening drive came in and it attempted to go up into the bottom of that range what i've kind of still learning here at tpo is again everything statistic watching this thing over and over again that either it takes shorts and in the opening range drive fails which on es it kind of didn't but then when we're watching nq which in some of you guys know i'm spreading these two things now we had a pattern like this in the b period which was the second half hour of the open so again coming up here and testing yesterday's low of yesterday's day session we felt okay which way are we going to go test today? You still don't know at the moment, but we saw a lot of momentum to the downside, and those periods were telling us that. And we were in this midpoint of, yes, the overnight inventory, right? The overnight um, um, ETH hours. So at that moment, we, what we were looking at, you know, we, we wanted to go, I wanted to go short until I found out further, whatever. Okay, so I had to go in, and I went in and... And this is also around work time too. So let's pull up the profile, what we're kind of looking at here. NQ basically was up here at this point of control and it kept just fading in, fading in. So I took this, you know, we came up to it and this was a good place to fade. Most people would have probably potentially taken the other way, uh, cashing out at point of control. But it went up two times on me. And so on the second time I took profits off, I went short NQ and, um, and I, um, went long es and then i'll show you guys in a minute what that looks like here um and, and again here so people know that I, I don't bs people i put everything in this room that we have i posted already what i'm looking at also how some of our um, algorithmic traders can take advantage of stuff what i give them warnings on what they should look for what they shouldn't look for crude oil obviously here i was telling them I had a one one dollar run um i missed it I, I couldn't look at all these markets at the same time especially once i was in this short uh short nq long es trade so this is kind of what it looks like um afterwards when i already was out and said now we're kind of testing new um uh, one time framing within our new day session into what looks like since we had a failed test low into the overnight highs which as i'm talking now it's gotten there uh let me pull up an example uh let me just bring it up there you go right there so that's nq it's tested up over this overnight lows back at where we were at the settle yesterday and these are ways that you could have just you know went long and just again if you study this stuff it'll keep you calmer in the trade now i didn't take the reversal i still was working with traders in the other room uh, in the bookmap side um and, and additionally let me i add as a bookmap user there's a ton of stuff in here that could look like you know if it's new to you that it just looks like some craziness but um, I integrate a lot of other things like our gamma exposure levels from the options market to find good levels of um, resistance and support you can call it at levels where I want to probably take off or get in lean in on an on a entry and stay there so obviously now this trade has kind of happened I think there's a another little level at 4180 but on the gamma exposure from dealers if I put on uh, let me pull this up to you guys here and obviously we've gone through the news and we don't trade news guys but we need to be intraday you got to know uh, when they hit you know what to look for what for clear and we're in the clear whatever why because liquidity drops like crazy and you can see it on book map when it happens and this was a little data loss that i had here back here but this is what it will look like You'll have a news event and it'll just get black and you'll find out the hard way if you're in something like that and you just didn't know how to step aside you weren't aware to step outside then because that liquidity drops all the algos and a lot of the pro traders are going to temporarily pull their orders you know that's when you have those big blips and um until liquidity stabilizes that's why you get rocked out of trades so again why are we looking at news just to stand back real quick that's all okay I ain't trading what the results are none of that stuff on the spot gamma dashboard i can show now these are levels um they have a new dashboard that was uh relaunched april 3rd <clears throat> and you can see on all of the different etfs and exchange traded options uh the like spx spy ndx qs and then now they've added the russells and you can see their gamma exposure levels 
Are they call heavy, put heavy? On which expirations? Obviously, these quarterlies, we have much more um, liquidity there, obviously, than our April expiration. But this is all things that I put into context along with um, where my levels are before I put in any trades. And then again, they seem to work out most of the time because it keeps you calmer, it keeps you waiting, uh, and it, it lets your trades roll out. Now, let me show you a result of a spread. You know, people say, why am I doing that? You know, it's one, it helps me not have to have stops um, necessarily. I don't have to get stopped two times because I'm right on the third. And then, you know, so here's an example of this spread I did today. This is short NQ and uh, long ES to, to kind of put a sale behind the momentum. And so the net positive result for me when I hit that bottom level is 446.64 after commissions. And you can see the, you know, you know, the max adverse excursion on these where the entries are quite beautiful. You know, 128 bucks was like my max um, drawdown in this, this, this trade. So, um, you know, because there's volatility right now, I was a spread trader years ago on commodities, swing trading. That's what they're really preferably for. They, I have an old course inside of YouTube. If anybody wants to go watch an old one I made years ago, it's kind of prehistoric now, but I'm thinking on making a newer one with volatility these days equity spreads are you know quite interesting you know uh, they could be a little funner than micros because um, you can actually exploit some of the more expensive markets such as the meanies without hurting yourself especially a lot of you funded trader guys out there okay now um, but traditionally they're there for swing trading or short term you know overnight holds why because you know, when we put on a proper exchange recognized spread, it's going to allow the exchange and our broker to give us a discounted margin. It's called span margin that will allow us to hold instead of needing $12,000 to hold a uh, NQ or ES, you know, contract outright. It's going to allow us to to uh, maybe cost us only like 2500 bucks, right? If you have the proper spread on, same, you know, like in crude oil, you know, crude oil, if you're on, you know, a long crude oil contract and the overnight maintenance margin is like 10 grand. Well, if you put on a calendar, your overnight maintenance margin might be as low as like 300 bucks, 500 bucks, 800 bucks. Who knows with the volatility lately? Like I got to check on my spread platform that, you know, right? So, um, again, that, that was kind of our thing. And once we broke this level here, um, which was another large gamma level, you know, it was quite easy to see what the TPO and our context and how we explain that how you should be prepared before your day starts on what you want to do. I could have had another long here. I saw it, but I was busy in the moderator room. It was here getting tested. So it slowly grinded up and even went past where I would have cashed out. So that could have been another nickel for a thousand bucks for the day. But, you know, I didn't take it. I'm, I'm busy with other things. I'm happy with what I'm making. Um, but these are just, you know, and they just happen almost every day, rinse and repeat over and over again. Obviously, when we do come in, we do look at, you know, our higher time frames, you know, and kind of see in the overall context of things, where are we from the weeklies and the uh, daily charts, you know, total upside, total downside, and then where, you know, things are going to look in range before we come into our intraday times. Okay, but intraday time frames, it helps to know and understand what the intraday traders um context is and most of the guys are trading you know these profiles and um they trade around higher time frame traders it's just they understand how and where to look for them okay and, and finally then coming in into such a great like you know order flow or a smaller time frame chart whatever you guys use out there i don't know who how everyone's flavor is and you can take that trade based on then what you see as a volume event occurring at those levels that you put into context you know, that's it. Real simple. Um, you know, so in, uh, and or, hey, you know, if you're an algo trader, okay, I talk to the guys all the time. I built this algo three years ago for my own self while I was still building my confidence in intraday out outright trading because, again, I was a swing trading spread trader. And, um, but, you know, had you known your context here, you know, you would have put your algo on long that we have available on, uh, on our website for a one-time fee and that comes with the discord room and stuff i help you set it up you know it could have been long and we show you how to kind of do that it's just going to help people that don't have the ability internally to turn on um take 
you know, take a trade, especially after like a losing trade to hop in again. Time and time again, if, usually if your context is right and you're all, all with the right group and you're, you know, there's only three ways a market can go. And if you're right consistently, then quite consistent, you know, sometime intraday, people have a hesitation to get back in after a loss. Well, you know, these kind of algorithms that we create, they're not out of a box, you know, um, you know, push button bank machine. Uh, if they existed, who would sell them, you know, and so we offer that for really cheap. And then we help coach you out and help you build some context and I always tell guys that come over the most you will get out of this. You know, I can't promise money because it's that's illegal and regulations. But, you know, the most that people will get out of this is they'll leave with much more info than they came. And, you know, when you just do the same thing over and over again, you know, just alone, people tell me they never heard. I got guys I've known trade in 10, 15, 20 years. I got guys I know combine over two, 300 years. If you put them all together, there's like one big dinosaurs. And spread trading, for example, is something they've never even heard of. And, uh, and that's okay, but it's, it, it, it shines a light on me and instills me that there's something out there you guys can do that not a lot of other people are doing, you know, and, um, you know, anyway, I just, I, 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 I try to just give that information out here on YouTube and hopefully it, it finds and falls into good hands. Again, um, from the top down again, what I did today is I'm looking at, you know, the context, what's happening, um, on the higher time frames. And I'm going to come in depending on what I'm usually I've been just trading NQES as a spread. Um, I haven't been touching crude oil lately, but then, you know, it's just how I'm going to analyze my days. Where is trading versus, you know, um, where it's been in the prior session and, uh, and then how, it's reacting if there's any kind of big initiative, uh, higher time frame buyer sellers coming in and how it continues. And then from there again, then you have context and then we go into our charts and that's it. And we break it on down, break it on down, come into our kind of our micro time, right? And then make our decision. Again, I use spot gamma now, which is, um, a third party informational resource provider for pooling options data from the option data players in the equities market. And it gives me just extra levels on top of my context. So usually when I already have context and that also is there, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's double or triple, uh, whammy for me. Okay. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, almost a nickel profit in the day. Not bad. I'm going to continue building up this one Apex account straight up on spreads. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, let's, I don't think I'll have anything for the afternoon um, to talk about or do. Um, tomorrow will be Thursday, and we'll just come right back and, and rinse and repeat the same stuff. Uh, it, oh, uh, if you'd like more information um, of my content, there's a link below. You can check out Viper Futures. Um, you know, look, I don't offer much at the moment other than just try to give her all this information for free on YouTube. Other than if you wanted to buy an algo and then, or if you want to come in the discord room, I, I charge a little fee just to try to keep serious people filtered into it. And that's it. And plus, cause I'm giving some information and my time is money. So yeah, I mean, we'll help you out. I'll show you kind of things that I'm looking at and how I work around other pro traders I've learned from for many years to create this formula and, and, and work your system for you every day. Okay. Everybody take care and, uh, yeah. Oh, and there was one last thing I wanted to show. Let's see here. Let's pause this. For those um, interested about learning about market profile, this is a book I'm currently reading. I'm about 100 somewhat pages into it, 350 pages. It's like a Bible. This is the kind of book uh, you'll read it, and then you'll have it in reference to it and probably read it like four or five, six times. Um, it has great reviews. Jim Dalton, James Dalton, market profile wizard. That's really informational i mean there's books i read i've read that are so dry and this book is just keeps you engaged so if you wanted to go on amazon and look for this book guys then I'd, I'd recommend that for you okay but anyways all right i'm gonna go back and do my thing and uh i wish you guys all the best okay take care out there